Hey everyone, Gracie here. Um, today I'm going to be answering a few questions that the Green Edge members asked me. I did a piece for the member letter a few weeks ago and at the end you could ask me any extra questions and I would post a video about it. So today that's what I'm going to be doing. First question I chose out of quite a fair few I'm really impressed with. What are the perks of being on a women's team that's connected to a men's team? Apart from the, uh, the links in the sponsorships like the bikes and the clothing which I'm really impressed with so far. But also we have a really good family vibe with the team and happy when anyone on the team gets a win. It's also cool to have shared um, experiences with Dan Jones who does the backstage passes. We've had a few with the women's team so far too, so it's cool that we can also do that, not just the men's. Rumour has it that the girls might be making an appearance in this year's music video, so you'll have to stay tuned for that one. I'm pretty excited about that. Question number two. There is a lot of talk right now about the state of women's cycling. What do you think women's teams can be doing differently? And what do you think they're doing right? I think a lot of teams at the moment are doing a really good thing with um, trying to get extra coverage for themselves with blogs, interviews, even some videos. I feel very lucky to be part of Green Edge who already does a lot of previews for every race, including quotes from the riders with experience in that race and then we do a race report straight after the race and I think a lot of other teams are starting to do that now really use and exploit the internet and Twitter and Facebook everyone's on it already so why not use it as much as you can it would be great to see more teams really embrace this type of interaction and that's another reason why I do the videos I do it to let my friends and family know where I am and what I'm doing but also to really get that snapshot of who we are and, and where we are and what we love to do and I think just to use those short bites of information is really good to get people interested in the sport. Okay, question number three. Has this first part of the season met expectations? Well, apart from winning the national champs in Jan January, that totally blew my expectations out of the water since being in Europe for the spring season. Um, I came here just to get that extra experience. I've never done these early races before. Um, I hope to do well in them in the future, so I was really just trying to get the most out of myself and the racing this year. Do well in some of those bigger races like Cat Newsblad and a couple of the other classics. I couldn't be happier and I feel like I've learnt a lot and gotten a lot stronger out of it. So definitely beyond expectations for me. It's nice to finish with the top end of the field and not be uh, straggling up the back. Question number four, what do you love best about being in an Aussie team? There's too many things to mention, too many small things, and I think that's what makes the difference. All the small details that all add up to your total experience throughout the year. I love to have a good laugh with my teammates. We all have a similar sense of humour. I think the Aussie style of humour is very sarcastic and dry. We all have the same values and we're all pretty relaxed. There's not that feeling of pressure always in the team. Everyone is there to do the best job they can in the race and then apart from that we can all just sit back and enjoy the time that we have when we're not racing. I miss my friends and family more than anything else so to at least be around Aussies here makes a massive difference to me. If I didn't enjoy the team I was in there's no way I could do this lifestyle so I feel really lucky and privileged that I can be part of the Orica Green Edge family and feel like I'm home when I'm not at home. Question number five. What's the setup like at the AIS and what do they provide? So I stay at the base, which we call it, which is just a few K out of the centre of Varese in northern Italy. Uh, it's maybe a 20 minute drive to the Milan airport, so it's a perfect location for when you're always coming and going for racing. and. The training around here is brilliant. There's not many better places to train, apart from Canberra, of course. <laughs> we have our own apartment. Some riders share apartments. I'm lucky that I've got my own apartment for most of this year. For me, it's just like a studio size apartment. Bedroom, kitchen, living area is all one. And then you've got your bathroom as well. So the base is really just a, a big house with a few apartments. Uh, I think there's about 12 apartments in here and a garage underneath and a basement so plenty of room for the bikes. 
um, and this is what it looks like. My room's at the very top. So in the basement of the base that we stay at, we've got the bike room where all the training bikes live. It's a little bit messy at the moment. As you can see, the under 23 boys don't like to put stuff away. We've got the washing machines, townies, lots of sets of rollers. And then we've got plenty of watt bikes to do a bit of self-torture. We've got the BT Ogos as well, which I really like to use. So I spend a fair bit of time down here. I'm a big advocate of cross training. I like to do a little bit of body weight and, and strength work with a few of the weights here and some Swiss balls and plenty of stretching, even a little bit of yoga. Also about 15k away is the ETC, the European Training Centre. And that's like a mini AIS over here. It's, it's based down on the lake. They've got a gym, they've got recovery pools and they've got some doctors there and physio so if you really need to get treatment that's where you go and um, there's a lot of Aussie staff there so it's, it's another nice little place to go that feels a bit like home. So those are just a few questions that I've answered from some of the Green Edge members. Uh, you should definitely become a member if you really are a fan of our team. There's a lot of extra info that you get in the newsletters that you can't get anywhere else like um, the interview that I did. So maybe I'll post another video with some more of your questions even if they're on Twitter. Some video ideas, I'm open to suggestions and I hope you've enjoyed this one and you know a little bit more about me and cycling. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.